What's up, family? Okay, so as y'all know, Donald Trump has a special place in his heart for coons. Whoo, he loved coons, especially black coons. So which coon is Donald Trump considering to head the Department of Homeland Security? Could it be Stacy? What about Omarosa? Uh, what about Steve? Or Stephen. How about the coon Don Dada of them all? Charles. Nah, he skipped over all those coons for a coon with a badge. Goes like this, y'all. Donald Trump was scheduled to meet Monday with Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark Jr., a Trump supporter and surrogate during the campaign who is now reportedly being considered to head the Department of Homeland Security. Clark is known for his extreme views on policing, including his conviction that there is a war on cops, but no police brutality, and for his actions against Black Lives Matter. One of his most out there positions, suspend the constitutional rights of up to one million people and hold them indefinitely at the U.S. prison in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Clark's extremist approach to homeland security is no secret. In his upcoming memoir, Cop Under Fire, moving beyond hashtags of race, crime, and politics for a better America, he advocates treating American citizens suspected of terrorism as enemy combatants, questioning them without any attorney and holding them indefinitely, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reported. Their cases would be handled by a military tribunal rather than a traditional court. But a year ago, Clark went further and called for rounding up Americans who sympathize with terrorists and shipping them to an offshore prison. During a December 2015 segment of his show, The People's Sheriff on Glenn Beck's The Blaze Radio Network, Clark suggested that any person who posts pro-terrorist sentiments on social media be arrested, deprived of their constitutional protection against unlawful imprisonment, known as habeas corpus, and sent to Guantanamo Bay indefinitely. He estimated the number of people who could be in prison under his proposal could reach one million. Presumably, this would include American citizens. The Democratic Research Group American Bridge caught Clark proposing this idea. Clark is prone to exaggerations and extreme talk. Last year, for example, he predicted on Twitter that before long, Black Lives Matter would join forces with ISIS to down our legal constituted republic. It's unclear what kind of comment or act would land an American citizen indefinitely in Guantanamo under Clark's plan. In the radio segment, he said he was not suggesting indefinite detention for some innocuous statement. I'm not going to go that far. He pointed to the woman out in San Bernardino as an example, referring to the female shooter in the terrorist attack in San Bernardino, California, who pledged allegiance to ISIS on Facebook shortly before murdering 14 people. That's beyond the pale, he said. But he also said anyone who has pledged allegiance or are supporting ISIS, giving aid and comfort would qualify. He did not say how tweets and Facebook posts would be policed or how one million people would be arrested and incarcerated in a prison that has up to now held fewer than 800 prisoners. This dude, Sheriff David Coon Clark, is a typical fanatic. Facts don't matter to this dude. The truth is irrelevant. All this dude cares about is pushing his narrative. I'm tough on crime. I'm tough on crime. It's us against them. Everything he says is always with 
It's force. It's anger. It's us against them. It's aggression. This type of attitude never works to bring about harmony, which they say they try to do. They want to bring about harmony. They want to bring peace. They want to bring unity. They want America to be a safer place. That's not going to get it. That's not going to get it. All that matters to this dude is self-aggrandizing grandiosity. That, that's all that matters to him and people like him. Him and Donald Trump, these dudes are two peas in a pie because neither of them likes to be at work. I mean, both of them, I mean, they, they, they're never working. They're always kicking it. Every time you look up, they're kicking it. This dude spent most of his time on Twitter, both of them. They both Twitter, Twitter gangsters. All of every time they have a little issue, they're all on Twitter. It's Twitter. Typing their asses out. And you wonder how this dude find the time to capture the bad guys. Now, y'all keep in mind, this is the same dude that they want to be the head the Department of Homeland Security. This is the same dude who in a six month span had four inmates die under his watch under suspicious circumstances. And hey, the last dude, it, it's not even suspicious. It was a straight out murder. They starved the dude to death. Well, actually they deprived him of water. The guy went seven days without water. They turned off the water in his cell and they denied bringing him water for seven days purposely. The, day, the other inmates were saying that the guy was begging, like begging for water and they would not give the guy water. So they purposely uh, denied him water and they killed him. They murdered him. Straight out murder. Under the law, even if he's in jail, they have to feed him. They have to give him water. They have to give him liquids. But they didn't. They purposely killed the dude. And somebody need, need to go to jail. Like David Clark Coon ass need to be put in, in Guantanamo Bay. His ass need to be put in Guantanamo Bay. And Trump ass need to be put in Guantanamo Bay for even considering some stupid ass shit like that, like putting him as the head of the as the head of the Department of Homeland Security. Man, that's totally stupid. This is another nut job in the Trump campaign. See, Trump is really uncomfortable being around anybody without a personality disorder. If you think about it, think about all the people that's in his cabinet, a whole bunch of nut jobs. All, every, I mean, every last one of them. Don't be fooled by these degrees and uh, the stature they have, the money that they have. You know, a lot of people get money. A lot of those people got their money uh, through inheritance. Uh, a lot of them got money passed on, like even Donald Trump, you know, you know, he he started off with a meal ticket from his daddy. You know, these people are people that's just born with a silver spoon. They have no idea what it's like to be a common person. But they passing themselves off as uh, as a, a party for the people. They have no idea what the, the common man and woman is going through. These people. They need to be put down. Yeah. This guy is completely batshit crazy. He, he belongs in Guantanamo. Now, Trump want to be rich and powerful like Adolf Hitler. And, you know, Adolf, Adolf Hitler is his hero. You know, that's a hero of his. Think about this, man. Adolf Hitler is his hero. And 
That's why it's not strange to see him trying to employ uh, Hitler uh, speaking habits and some of the speaking, public speaking techniques that Hitler had. Trump is a bomb. David Clark is a bomb. They don't work. They just got titles. And they, they basically get a, get free checks. You know, uh, Trump, he, he gives this little old, you know, presidential fee away. But at the same time, I mean, hell, he can, <laughs> he hitting American people up for like what? Two, three hundred thousand dollars a day. Every single day. Trying to protect them old silly ass kids of his and his wife and himself and God knows what else. And then David Clark, yeah, he ain't been in the damn office and I don't know how long. These dudes run around here getting free checks. And, you know, Clark is a slave. You know, he got that, he got a straight up slave mentality. I mean, you can just listen to him talk. He sound just like a slave. It's fascinating to see history repeat itself. A black man who like has the shackles uh, where he, he tries to uh, minimize the, uh, the, uh, the accomplishments of people who seek freedom. This is a black man who would throw infidels in prison. This is a black man who uh, is enthusiastic about torture. This is a black man who is so disconnected to his people, to his history, to the struggle that you know, he don't even know who the hell he is. This is an old story, y'all. This is an old story. Since slavery has always been blacks that were willing to sell out other blacks and hurt other blacks, bring harm to other blacks, to supplicate favor from the ruling whites. And this dude is no different. This motherfucker is one of the most despicable human beings in the history of civilization. His daddy should have pulled out and his mama should have swallowed. Hey, yo, if you like the videos that I'm presenting to y'all, make sure you join my Patreon page. Go check out the movement. Join the movement. Patreon.com slash Willie D. Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah. Order from Texas.